Hi, everybody. On this episode of Combs Teeny Tiny Town, I'm looking at my new Rapido M420. That's a Montreal Locomotive Works uh, 420 uh, locomotive. And this is brand new, right out of the box, from Rapido. And I'm happy to say this is my first purchase ever of a Rapido product. I saw that this locomotive was being released and there was still some opportunity to put in an order through a, uh, a hobby shop, a dealer, and I took a plunge. I thought, why not? I've recently acquired some other GP38s and GP40 locomotives in CN and Burlington Northern and even Conrail uh, road names. So I thought, well, this would be kind of a nice very Canadian specific locomotive to add to the collection. Now, my understanding was that the the M420 was meant to be a competitor to the the Electromotive uh, uh, Division uh, GP38 type locomotive, which was very popular at the time. This was a Canadian built alternative. Now, it is a little bit larger, and now my my layout is small. It's a four by six. Uh, sheet of plywood essentially and it's got some curves and the GP38s and 40s navigate the curves pretty nicely but the wheelbase on this on this particular locomotive it's a four axle locomotive it, it, so I, I took a chance uh, without fully knowing the specs and it is a little tight on the curves so so there are a couple of curves on the layout that this this engine will not navigate however it still is a very fine engine, and uh, I guess it gives me an excuse to expand the layout and, and you know smooth those curves out a little bit. So the first thing that you'll notice uh, on startup here is that the lights are really quite impressive. So let me, let me, oh, he's going in the wrong direction here. So let me put him in the right direction here. So let's see here. So you look at those lights. They they light up bright and strong, even at a, at a low rate of speed. Okay, so here we go. Let me pull them up and the other thing that's kind of neat about this is that there is actually a lit instrument panel inside the cab now it's gonna be probably impossible for us to see using this little crummy phone but it's really impressive to see this thing with the lights turned out it is uh, it's got the ditch lights it's got the instrument panel lit up it's got all kinds of detail inside the cab and the amount of detail uh, on this engine is really quite impressive. You can see there's like a little uh, metal uh, walkway, catwalk. Uh, the metal railings around there are highly detailed. Now I did have a little bit of a problem. The railing did pop out on the on the rear corner there. Now I popped it back into place, and and it did pop off along the edge there. So. Now I may have manhandled it a little bit uh, in its when I was first took it out of the package, but uh, um, now look at the hoses on the front here, like a high level of detail on those hoses. I did put in a a longer Katie coupler on the front because I found the shorter coupler that was installed again was a bit hard on my curves to navigate, so I had to make that modification. So let's just. Uh, Give it a, a roll around the track. Now, Rapido likes to talk about their silky smooth uh, motor drive, and it is extremely smooth and quiet. Um, after transitioning away from my sort of cheaper 1980s model power type engines to something a little bit more modern and contemporary, um, Backman, Walther's, etc. I was struck at how quiet those locomotives are, but this one is extremely, extremely quiet. So let's just see it coming in around the bend here. Very nice, quiet, smooth drive. And a real Canadian icon. Like it, it really does have a look of a of a, a very Canadian specific locomotive from that particular era. Okay, so let's watch him come around the track again here. So 
So very, very impressive level of detail. And I have to say it, it, it frightens me at how, how fragile it seems because there's so many little bits and bobs, little detail underneath. Um, I'm just afraid that I'm gonna accidentally with my meaty hands, pick something up and um, break it, frankly. Okay, so very, very smooth running. As I say, not something you wanna go whipping around these curves at a high rate of speed on. So let's pop them into the reverse position. And again, very, very smooth drive. The lights are of course directional, so all the lights on the front part of the locomotive don't activate, but again, comes around very, very smoothly. So again, if you see, I have these uh, Pico turnout motors, which can be a little tricky on some of the curves, but as you can see, he does not a bad job on these fairly sharp 18 inch plus curves. Okay. So uh, I'm not gonna go into too much more detail about it. So it's the Rapido M420. Comes in a beautiful box. Um, I can show you the packaging here. Uh, really, really, you know, premium product, premium packaging. Um, proudly made at the LRC factory in Humantown, Don Guan City, China. Okay, so it's the MLW M420 DC silent. I'm not running. Um, I'm not running the. Uh, the DCC, beautiful, nice packaging. Uh, it's, you know, got the, the foam, the molded foam and the clamshell and everything. Very, very nicely packed. Um, and a beautiful motor, a beautiful engine, I should say, with uh, beautiful lights and uh, a high degree of detail. You can see along the underside, just the amount of detail Again, I'm just, I'm frightened to touch it. It's so, it's so detailed. But, uh, and, and there are some, they, they give you a bag with some extra parts. So for example, the door here on the front, if you want, you could, you could replace the closed door with an open door and have it, uh, have the cab essentially open. What they call uh, Canadian summertime air conditioning, an open door on the front. Um, so that's about it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I would recommend this, but again, be mindful of the, the radius of your curves. It does have a bit of trouble navigating tight curves, even though it is only four axles. Um, uh, if you were to compare this, uh, I'll just by, you know, show you, you know, comparatively here, this is the GP38. So you can see it's a little, it's got a tighter wheelbase on that GP38. So, so you can definitely... Uh, make the curves with the GP38, but you, the 420, not so much. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see some more videos like this, uh, please click subscribe. We'd love to have you subscribe. Columbus Teeny Tiny Town, take care.